<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. You know it is time for Home Depot. Debbie, yes, always here this time every Sunday morning. So yep. this is a really interesting segment. I love baseboards. I think a lot of people at home do because it can really kind of add something um, to your home and to your space. Absolutely. And, you know, there's a lot to choose from, mm -hmm. so you don't know what style, what height is best for you and your home. And, you know, you can refresh your existing ones, which we're going to show in the next segment, but if you want to replace your um, baseboards, we've got a lot to choose from, so I'm just going to kind of break it down. Okay, now, this baseboards is something, one one. That's it. <laughs> this is something that most people in older homes have mm -hmm. existing, right? This is a two and a half inch, very basic. It does the job, but if you're going to replace them, you want to make sure they make a statement, right? It's part of your decor. And it's functional because when you're vacuuming or mopping, it prevents the wall from getting dinged or banged or dirty. So that's the purpose of a baseboard, but also can add a decorative touch. For sure. So if you have this and you want to get rid of it, there's many to choose from. So something like this comes in two different heights. Obviously, we're going higher, so we're going to not do this one. This is a very uh, modern uh, baseboard that has no texture to it or detail, but does taper back to the wall. And as we were discussing, you want to make sure you have something like this because it's going to be easier to clean, less of a dust collector. So when you wipe this, you're done, right? Whereas some of the others that we're going to talk about have a ledge, and that is a major dust collector. Collects a lot of dust. Right. This one comes in three different heights. Now, this is a solid wood baseboard, mm -hmm. and if you want to stain them, that's a good route to go, but most baseboards come in a fiberboard material and it come pre-primed. Now, this is not white that's going to be the color of your baseboard. This is pre-primed. You also have to paint it when you put it in, so okay. this is not the color of it. It's just to protect it. So as you can see, this one has a, a little bit of height and it has a taper back to the wall. I like this So one. you have a little bit of a, a lip, but not much, but it is very modern. So this is a very popular baseboard right now. Now, depending on your ceiling height, if you have a seven foot ceiling height, you're probably gonna want it a little shorter, but I like a tall baseboard. So if you're gonna go with this, this is a five and a half, or you can go even to six and a half. So what? Like if you have eight, nine foot ceilings, you think that could work with this? hundred okay. percent, yes. I think <clears throat> pretty much other than a seven foot, four to five inches is great. This is a very simple baseboard, but it has detail to it. So if you want something that has a little detail, but still easy to clean, that one's going to work. And then this is one that's really popular right now, just the plain square baseboard. Right, it's very modern. It's a clean look. Very rich looking, very clean. Comes in uh, multiple different heights, and it's very affordable. So that's a great one. And then this is your old school traditional one. But then the dust, right? That <laughs> one has a, le a ledge for dust. Yes. This one, you know, not the most popular anymore, but definitely has uh, detail if you like that. So in the next segment, we're going to talk about. Uh, how to refresh your existing ones, the proper hints and tips and techniques to make them look gorgeous again. Because a lot of people, I mean, that is the biggest fence, right? Ripping them out, it putting is. new ones in. So why don't you just kind of work and jazz up the ones yep. you have? And with the hints and tips that I'm going to give you, it's going to be really easy and they're going to look gorgeous. Okay. 845 Home Depot Debbie will be back. Thanks, Deb. Thank you. As always, talking Baseboards 101. How fun. <laughs> Oh, that spot is so cute. Yes. Excited for that segment, Elena. Thanks so much. We are here with Home Depot Debbie. Yep. I'm I really love baseboards, right? I think yes. baseboards are so cool. And so you've been focusing on baseboards this morning. We yep. talked about different kinds of baseboards. Yes. And it is expensive, right? To rip them out, put them in. It can be, yep. It can be. Depending on the size of your house, house. of course. So you're talking and about you have waste. to move all your furniture, yeah. right? Yeah. And yeah. No, thank you. So how can we kind of modernize or update our baseboards without spending a bunch of money? So you know, everybody says, oh, just paint them. And that is true. We want to paint our baseboards to refresh in them. But also there's some hints and tips on how to do it so you have beautiful and not like a rickety rackety yeah. edge and hodgepodge. <laughs> but first, a couple things you're going to need. I absolutely will not do baseboards or anything on the floor without either a pad, a cushion pad, knees? or knee pads, right? Because you're going to be crawling on the floor, so you need some protection, <laughs> right? 
And then also um, a little dish like this, because when you open, a, say you're doing all your baseboards, you have a gallon of paint, you don't want to leave that gallon of paint just open while you're dipping and going all the way around the house because it could dry out, thicken, that kind of thing. So you want a tool that you can put your paint in and just carry along with you as you go. And this is called the Snap It, you know, it's flat for storage, and then you it just pops out you put and you put right your in paint there. in there. And then you have what you need to carry it around. Then also a brush. When you're using a brush for your, uh, you want a good quality brush, a Wooster is great. And then also angled. You have to have it angled like this so that when you're brushing, it makes it a lot easier. The first thing you want to do is tape off your baseboards and you don't want that rickety rickety edge at the top. So you're going to caulk the top of it. I left about an eighth inch of the paint showing so that you can get the caulk off and you only want to do a little bit of caulk so that you can spread it nicely and there's not a lot of goo left. See how easy that is? And you can use a gun and then I like to use dishwashing liquid and water to like make soap sure or something it goes like that? smooth. Yes, oh. and just dip your finger and run it along. You can see how nicely that covers. Then you want to paint it. When you're painting it, you want to use a semi-gloss paint and you want to paint let the caulk dry and then you're just going to paint like so at the top edge and a lot of times it's even easier to use the pointy edge to get all the way across and then you can see here I painted that you can see how refreshed that mm -hmm. looks if you have carpeting you want to use something like this a straight edge tool this is just a, a paint shield and when you have carpeting you can just push down the carpet like this so you don't get paint on your carpet because it's hard to tape carpet right or you can use a flat edge of cardboard if you want like so otherwise you're just going to tape your tile or tape your vinyl whatever you have at the bottom and you're just going to paint along and it makes it really nice the semi gloss is cleanable and durable and you just want to Use a good quality brush and long, nice strokes, and you can see how beautiful that looks. And then you just pull your tape off, and you Ooh, have a beautiful look at that straight edge. The caulk seals the tape. That's the most That's important, important tip. Everything's going to be on Home Depot Debbie's Facebook page. And Instagram. And Instagram. Yes. We'll be right back.